Today we will record the electric guitar and there are many ways to record an electric guitar and you can do it the way you want it. I'm gonna show you just one kind of recording. Uh, usually what I what I did when I was a kid is record the guitar the to the pedal board and the pedal board to the line in in the computer I didn't have any interface that that was that was one of the ways another way you can do it if you have an interface of course if you have Pro Tools you have an interface is record directly this guitar cable to your interface and use the effects and presets that you have um, in a Pro Tools. What I'm gonna do now is record and a guitar amplifier to the microphone. This is the same microphone I'm talking to, and from the microphone to the interface. This is usually what they do in studios. So uh, they put a microphone to the amplifier and then the recording to the, to the Pro Tools. So that's what, what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna show you uh, some tricks to do it. Uh, the first thing, the amplifier. Okay, you can hear some noise. I have it in the clean sound, but I'm gonna use one of the presets in here uh, for a distortion guitar. So this is the distortion channel. That's the sound that I like. And I'm gonna take out all the middles and put a little bass. And uh, the treble is gonna be exactly the same. So, listen to the sound. Now, let's go to the computer. In the computer, you're listening to my voice. This is a, the tutorial track. But, I have opened this channel for the electric guitar. In this channel, what we want to do is insert a plugin and this is gonna be dynamics gate you see the gate this is the threshold for the gate when I turn on the amplifier you'll see nice sound right what the gate does is all this sound The gate is cutting it because it is under the threshold. But what is above the threshold is letting it pass. So, listen to this. You can hear me. You can hear me because the gate is taking out my voice. <laughs> but listen. Now you know what the gate is doing. It's cutting all the noises from the amplifier and the noise from the distortion. I didn't touch anything, I just put gate and it's the factory default. One more thing is that um, you can place your microphone wherever you want. I put it in one side of the speaker. Some people put it in the center, some people put it down, some people put it up. It's just your taste. You try it and when you like it, use it like that. Now, what we will do now is record the guitar. So.
Well, that was kind of good, and now we will record another track with the same guitar. So I turn it on, put everything ready to record in the second track, and let's do the same. We have recorded both guitars and one of them has a mistake and this is good because I'm, I'll teach you how to fix this kind of mistakes and, and, and you'll see why it's better to record more than one track, okay? So let's begin. First of all, let's listen to the first, the blue recording. <laughs> Okay, uh, if you didn't realize, I put uh, in the mixer, let I show you in the, the mix window, this is the electric guitar we're tr working on, mix window here, this is the electric guitar, so it was mono and it was in the center so since we have two guitars I put one completely to the right and the other one completely to the left so we have this kind of a stereo guitar okay so we have heard the first one the only problem is in here at the beginning at the beginning it should be not you see well, let's listen to the other one the beginning was good That was a mistake. Perfect. So, the first thing to do is to clip it. Let's cut all the excess parts. And here too, the same thing. Listen to those guitars. Mm -hmm. Let's get this. We can cut a little bit more this one. Perfect. And the beginning of this one, we just made a little fade in. And it's a lot nicer. Now, the big mistake is in the middle. Over here, I think. Let's listen. No, a little bit before, like here. Okay, that was a mistake. That was a big mistake. So, what we will do is to select one part of this one. 
the part that is good no. oh. if we put it in grid it's a lot better from here to here okay and we hit control E and it makes a cut in here and the area you selected so we click alt and with a little hand you move it up okay and you have a copy of this and this copy we will put it right here ah, you can move it down if you want and listen to this you we fix the error but it has another error listen to that <laughs> This part and this part sounds great, stereo, but when it comes here, it becomes mono because it's exactly the same sound up and down, or I mean, <laughs> right and left. So it becomes mono. What do we do with this? How do we fix it? Listen to it again. <laughs> Can hear the difference right so what we will do is select this part make a big zoom okay put it in slip mode and we will move this just a little bit like that now listen to the results you see it became stereo again because it's not exactly the same sound in, in, in the left sound in the right now we have recorded the electric guitar we kind of made a mix uh, so you you can have an idea of how it's gonna sound the song the next step is mixing the whole song uh, the next video is gonna be about the mix and the the last one will be what it's called mastering please keep watching the videos and subscribing and giving likes and have a great day bye